All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. No hag voice today for you, Logan. Although, I, I was puking a bit yesterday, so my voice isn't 100%. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I'll just get three. Love it. Uh, so, yesterday... I, yeah, it's because I was puking a bit last night and still bothering my throat. But, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, yesterday. We got Carlac. That that's all that really matters. We got Carlac in the party. Uh we got to level four. We died a whole bunch. I mean, I'm mostly fine right now. I'm just I'm a bit nauseous, but other than that, I'm pretty good. I don't think I I don't have the feeling that I'm going to puke anymore. <laughs> Not like yesterday. Yesterday was really bad. Uh. So, yesterday, at the end of the stream, I finally remembered that pickpocketing is a thing. Why, was, why weren't you notified I now stream on Wednesday? I, I was, like, talking about it for, like, a week and a half before. Like, almost every time I streamed, near the end of the stream, I would say something. I said it a couple times throughout the stream. I have it on my schedule. I have it on the intro and outro. Like, yeah. I, I, I've had it up for a while now. Alright. So, I do want to try a couple things. Uh, after we try a couple things, we're going to talk to Damon. I think that was his name. You're not late, you're just not paying attention, that's all. That, that's the big difference. Yeah, I decided I need to be streaming on Wednesdays too, just because of how much is in this game. Well, I am in his line of sight, God damn it. Oh, I... yeah. He, yeah, no. No, he, he's terrible. God damn it. No, I don't got something to hide. I'm just trying to hide from you. So I can steal stuff. Step lightly. He's just problematic in so many ways. It's way too much to even talk about on stream. All right, let's go and turn base mode. Let's see what they got. They got nothing on them. Oh, that's bull. It's not that there is an argument. It's just the guy is. He exerts power for the sake of exerting power. Like he wants to be. He wants to show that he has authority, but he's doing it in a way that makes him an asshole. Alright, yeah, I think the only person I'm really going to be able to pickpocket here is the, the vendor. Alright, let's try and pickpocket the vendor again. It's not even a specific thing, it's just... Yeah, he's just an asshole. Wait, just did I lose? Well met. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Okay, I didn't lose any attitude from him. Okay. Sylvanas. All right. Let's get the group back together. They should be on their way. I hope. I hope. Yes. Okay. Gonna talk to Damon. Have to keep going. Once we talk to Damon, we'll see if he's willing to be a mechanic for Carlac's infernal engine as a heart. Uh, where is he? He's down there. What to do? 
When did Lord Farquaad turn into a dwarf merchant? That wasn't a dwarf. It was a gnome. Well, no, it was a non-gnome. It was a halfling? Either a halfling or a gnome. One of the two. It wasn't a dwarf, though. I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the house. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose. Look like Fuller Farquaad. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. They got of lucky. course, everybody's injured. Like you did too. And you brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. How's life out of stream? By the smell of it. Uh, uh not a whole lot going on, actually. Oil. Mind if I take it's really just shot? work, sleep, clean, I don't get too close or your eyes will and stream. That, that's pretty much my life right now. Phew. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. It is very boring. It is. I need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. But on the other hand, unlike uh, some streamers, I, uh, you know, actually have a working PC at the moment. <coughs> Ari. <coughs> I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one. So there's that. Help both. If It'd be a lot worse. Off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron she, already. She can touch whoever she pleases if you can fix her engine. Should I give it to him? I'm, I'm, I'm down for that, yeah. Let, let, let's. Yes. Absolutely. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of <laughs> that blaze of chaos. To be fair, I don't know if what's wrong with his PC was something preventable. I doubt it, because it is a new PC, so it should not be having the issues it's having. Give me just a moment. No. I'm just throwing the shade, just to throw the shade. But I do remember when we were setting it up, we had some issues with uh, power. For a little bit have to as well. It, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough. No, I don't even know if stuff in his house is actually set up properly for supplying power to it, let alone all that stuff, but that's just me speculating. Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less His computer's good enough that that shouldn't be an issue. Changeable. Cheers, mate. Unless he had like tons of viruses on it, but I'm pretty sure his issue is actually a hardware issue, not a software issue. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation. Personally, I think it was either built wrong or they used the bad part. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully, the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket. Any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Will do. If it lets me touch her. What I wouldn't do for better tools. Now let's talk to Carlac. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Yeah, that that's what I feel too. Because like I said, it's a brand new PC. It shouldn't be screwing up. What is it? Eight months after he, he got it. Carlac is the one we are trying to romance in this playthrough, Logan. She is the one that I want this playthrough. Alright. We'll find some more infernal iron and get you that second upgrade, too. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Let's find you something to burn then. That's what I like to hear. Now, let's trot. Standing still is making my skin itch. Be 
<laughs> yeah, her problem is that, uh... Actually, what does he have for sale? Her problem is that her little infernal engine that she has instead of a heart makes her really, really hot. Like, burns to the touch. Uh, hunting short bow, advantage against monstrosity type monsters. Have I watched Kung Fu Panda? Yes, yes I have. Been a while, but I have. You like crossbow plus one, arrow of emitter. Might be useful. War pick plus one, plus one. Those are all plus ones. Added armor, those are all plus ones. Those are dies. Which gives a tigress kind of vibe. It has been a while. But Karlak very much has Golden Retriever energy, and I am so down for it. Uh, let's see. Switch to trade real quick. Just sell a few of these things. Don't need that. Really don't need a lot of this. Harper's map, Harper's notebook, loving note. Oh crap, no, I didn't want to sell Mark on Story. Oh, it's 38 now. Okay, never mind. I wouldn't say she's submissive at all. <laughs> it's just she has Golden Retriever energy is more of very innocent, excitable, lots of like just genuine happy energy. That that's more Golden Retriever energy. Typically not that not that bright. Uh let's sell the drow poison too. Alright, I think that should be good for that. Sell these. Alec gloves. I might hold on to that. Gonna hold on to that. You'd, it, it would literally just burn off. That that's that's why we gotta fix that. That's why we gotta fix her engine so she's not burning so hot. I miss my fortune. All right. Um, I do have one short rest left. I could just go ahead and do a long rest. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Because I know Shadow Heart doesn't have much spell slots left. <laughs> that That's the goal. That is the goal. I think I just have Gale to talk to. Uh-oh. He's going to romance me. Gonna be all romantic on me. Is that Mistra I see in the palm of your hands? An ambitious spell indeed. I'm gonna wait until the song ends there. It's because it's a little loud. Alright, there we go. It is, it is blocking out the uh, voice acting. How does everyone look like Lord Farquaad? I think you might need to rewatch Shrek if you think everyone looks like Lord Farquaad. Here to tell me why you're conjuring an image of the goddess? For the seldom purpose of prayer. 
Mistra commands all magic. Salvation, if such a thing exists, is hers to bestow or withhold. And yet even now, more than I fear losing my own self and soul, I fear losing my command of her art. Magic is my life. <laughs> I've been in touch with the weeds He's for too as long tall. As I can remember. He's too tall to be Lord Farquaad. Like and the hair is all wrong. Poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Is it the same for you? Uh, let's see. Do I not have the wizard option? I don't have wizard option. I'll use the sorcerer option then. Magic is like music, but while you need it written down, I can play by ear. Fair enough. Though in the end, we're still playing the same composition. Perhaps I can show you what I mean by reaching into the weave together. The dace? By all means. Then follow my lead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gale does want me now to grab you. his box. Let's see. Imitate the gesture with ease. Yeah, we'll just do it straight up. No checks involved. That seemed a little harsher than what he did, though. A familiar feeling. Like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistraril Kantrak Eo. Alright, let's go for it. Is everyone gay in this game? Yeah, basically. This game has a lot of uh, bisexual energy. Very good. Pretty much everybody will hit on you as long as they like you. The concept of harmony, as true as you can. See. <laughs> Uh, they all have to really, really like you for you to be able to do that. I'm not trying to do all of that. Not in this playthrough. You see, or is it sense, the unmistakable presence of Mistra, the Lady of Mysteries. There's something like the anticipation of a kiss. Yeah, oh, for once. No, Carlac comes you first, okay? You are nestled in the cup of Carlac comes hand. first. Might as well, might also do the Guardian. Look at that. In this playthrough. We're channeling the weave. Possibly one feel? more. Let's see. Incredible. Though, of course, I could have managed it by myself. You're hard to please, aren't you? The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. So, here's where we can decide to romance Gale, if we want to. Look at him smile. Look at him. Look at him smile. He's, he's ready for it. But, like I said, I'm not romancing Gale. Carlac comes first, then the Guardian, then maybe someone else. So, I'm in no mood to be so close to Gale. I shall release my grasp on the weave. The weave evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels Oh, yeah, he does. He's very lonely. Oh. There it goes. I just blue balled him. Slip away from us. No matter how hard they were in the obtaining. Good night. I enjoyed sharing a moment of magic with you. Call playing hard to get. 
see. Do I still have speak with animals? I do not. Um, where's the ball? Where's the ball? Do I have the ball? Do I have the ball? Oh, that's upsetting. Everyone gotta take a drink with how thirsty they are. What's on your mind? Yeah, a lot of them will try and take a drink, you know. Sounds like all we need to do to fix your engine is find some infernal iron. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, trusty pints. Uh, you and Mizora seem to know each other. Oh. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice. Me, by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. I like how we're still she covered with blood. like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. <laughs> you can see it in her eyes. I can see why you're so keen to escape. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> it had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You think she'd have more important things to do? Devils and their pride. All right, let's change the subject. Uh, so what does that infernal engine do it's to you exactly? Energy power but you've seen it in action very hard to control if i'm excited at all angry nervous delighted enticed i burn hot hot enough to burn anyone who gets close her buffness is part of the attractiveness man yeah must be bent up I, I try not to think about it i still think about it constantly but you know i try one of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, and start making up for lost time. But, not today. Just keep me in mind. Actually, how well, does she approve well, of me? Well. It's just fair for the moment. I need to get that better. Interesting. Hey, there's nothing wrong with buff women. Nothing wrong with that. Alright. Let's take a full rest before I go where I want to go, because there's going to be some fighting there. I was really hoping I'd be able to use, start using my uh, other abilities. Apparently not. Buff women scare you, that's a you problem. Alright. Let's go. Um, crap. I never unlocked the, uh... Thing over here, did I? Alright, let's go to the Blighted Village. We'll have to go up there the normal way. Five head. Oh my god. <sighs> you get scared very easily, don't you, Logan? Right, let's jump over. Alright, and. If I need to go up here. Did I look through these? I did not. 
Only afraid of heights in the dark. And of course, buff women. It's okay, though. An open letter on oppression and peacocks. Dear Editor, I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic. My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet, and yet to spend time with my children I must visit my summer home in Cormier. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest authorities, should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Older Ravengard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. Right, that's why I said they scare you. You're scared of buff women. That's okay, though. Uh, believe up here. Yes, okay. Uh, is there a way to do this? Oh, I can go down here, can't I? Um, let's go down here. Let's go down here. So I'm going to quick save. This conversation never happened. Whatever you say, Logan. Whatever you say. Firewine barrel. Um. Alright. Let me see. If I were to blow this up... Okay. Then do I have water? I do have water. Oh, really? Okay, you know what? Sure. Died down really fast, so it's okay. That failed. Oh, cool. That's fantastic. All right. Gonna have to go ahead and take a short rest. Put the wind back in my sails. Gonna pretend that didn't happen. How's my friendship with Ari? It's fine. Why? How you folks doing? Bit of an odd question. Get over here and help. If we don't deal with them knolls, none of us are getting out of here alive. Why don't you just run the other way out? Across the chasm. You might have got in that way, but you're stuck with us now. Got nothing else to ask. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Hold the line while I prepare for battle. That we can do. The fire won't hold them forever, though. Be quick about it. When the fighting starts, we'll be right alongside you. Cool. Alright, so... There's several gnolls out here. What level are they? Level 4? Oh boy. This is going to be a rough fight. Um... Anybody else coming? I'm ready. Should be able to make it over. Everybody should be able to make it over. Even Asterion should be able to make it over. Yeah. You guys are fine. Oh, I could go for a good meal. I'm sure you could, Carlac. Jeez, Carlac can just jump all the way over there. My favorite car brand? I don't have a favorite car brand. I'm not a uh, car guy. Still breathing. Despite everything. One day I'll catch.
catch a break. All right, let's see. Let's ungroup the party. Um, let me go up here. I think. Favorite show. That's an excellent question. God damn it. I did not want to go and battle that that quickly. Uh, I haven't watched a lot of shows lately. Kind of hard to say. Take the leader down. We'll try to hold the rest back. Uh, but as far as like favorite anime and stuff, that would be like uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Hunter Hunter. Yeah, I did not mean to start the battle already. And of course, I'm already gonna die, aren't I? Ooh, that's a tough one. All right, yeah, we're we're, we're gonna decode real quick. Because that that was going horribly. Ooh. I'd have to say second season, one with uh, Jotaro and Dio. Yeah, I think that would be my favorite for season. What path lies before me? Uh, let's see. Okay, and I can come up this way, can't I? Yes, I can. Really? You gotta walk through the fire? Really, guys? Really? That is an excellent question. What does it mean? Oh, okay. We're just gonna jump right into it. Have I ever watched Jujutsu Kaisen? I've seen the first season. I haven't watched any other bits of it, though. Alright, if I can kill Flynn, I should be okay. Um. Sure must have an intelligence of five or more. Do they have an intelligence of five or more? Yes, they do. I've watched quite a few. Damn it, saved. And let's run over here. One in turn. These guys might be screwed. Ah, uh, God, I can't remember. I haven't. I can't even remember all the names of the ones I've watched. Honestly, I've seen a good chunk of them. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. Totoro, that's one of the ones I haven't watched. Princess Mononoke and Totoro are two of the big ones that I haven't watched. Are they all going to come after me? They're all coming after my party. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, those are the ones I have not seen. Yeah, they're all coming after my party. God damn it. Um, I do have Gust of Wind. Alright, might have to use that in a little bit. Do I go ahead and use Lump's Warhorn? <laughs> Might have to. How could I? I mean, I just never got around to watching them. Oh, I should have used Maged Armor. Let's see. What would be the best way to do this? We got Karlak. Got this. She's gonna rage. Not even Totoro. I I just never seen Totoro. All right, what's my wild magic? Teleport each turn. Perfect. 
25%? Holy crap. AC 16. I have a plus 5 to attack. Why is it only 25%? Hold on. Hold on. Um, let's see. Oh, it's... T that's why. I have all in activated. Okay. There we go. 50% is better. Have I watched Wolf Children? No, I have not watched Wolf Children either. Alright, we are going to do... I think we're going to do Lacerate. There we go. I'm sorry, Logan. I know, it's depressing, isn't it? Alright. They're bleeding now. Uh, let's see, do I have... What do I have for potions? Potion of flying, potion of sleep. What about the cat one? Uh, let's see. No, we're not going to throw that. Alright, what about spells? What do I got for spells? Scroll of Cloud of Daggers. You know what? I think we're going to go past that. We are going to put that right there. There we go. Then, so got bonus action. Secret Life of Arietti. I think I have seen that one a while back. I don't have any haste. I would really love some haste right now. You know what, we are going to fly over somewhere. I'll fly over here. So, I know what you're talking about with the recent One Piece episodes. However, I haven't watched One Piece since... Well, where I left off on One Piece was the... Uh... God, what's it called? Skypea arc? I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave it at that. Yeah, it's been a while, but I know all about uh, Joy Boy and all that. How much HP do these guys have? Okay. Yeah, I know, I'm very far behind. Like I said, I do know all about Joy Boy and all that. Uh, let's see. Let's do bless. <laughs> it's not that easy to just say catch up. Uh, we'll do... AC 17. We'll do mirror image. That should boost it by 9, I believe. Yeah, AC 26. Then we'll do spiritual weapon... The spiritual weapon right here, so they gotta either attack that thing or go through the cloud of daggers. And we'll go right over here. Turn. Damn it. The shock of psychic pain, the 
pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. Ooh, you here we go. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No, the voice has forbidden this meat. No, see your All right, Logan. Get some animal. sleep then. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. Oh, it's not going to hold them. Blows, power courses through you. Have fun trying to hit that. Authority. Trust me, I am definitely going to uh, have some fun with that. Ooh. I don't want to kill the guys in the cave, though. Let's search her mind for the source of the voice. The beast daubs the symbol of the absolute on a cave wall in blood. Buried deep, a tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her. So, this mind. is a true soul, then. Let's focus on the tadpole. How did it come to be it's there? Drow and goblins restraining her, a mind player reaching out. And then the voice, bringing order. Eating this meat was forbidden, but it would lead her to a feast. Meat in the cave must die, but I don't want to kill them. From what I've done before, this does... Karlak does disapprove of this, and I don't want to lose any approval from Karlak. Ah, screw it. Going for it. 18 works. You can fight the other gnolls for me. Sensing your presence, the gnolls oh, Asterion approves. And Karlak didn't ecstasy. disapprove. Maybe it's because I was using Karlak for that. Command. Its host will feast on gnoll flesh to control the hunger. To keep her teeth from your throat. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. 315 XP? Goddamn, okay. Hey, Melted Igloo. Good to see ya. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's do a sneak attack. I can't do a sneak attack on anything. Did I never equip a weapon? I never equipped a melee weapon. God damn it. I have a melee weapon somewhere else that you can use. I don't know if I do. My turn. I don't. I sold it. Go for the throat. I'm sorry, Asterion. I sold your knife by accident. Survival is all that matters. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Just be ranged. That's all. That should just kill it straight up. It should have killed it straight up. Okay, that's fine. Let's do a dash. Right over here. I really need to get Cloud of Daggers as an actual spell and not just using it as a scroll. That is super useful. Because he's almost dead. That was almost all damage from Cloud of Daggers. Let's see. Yeah, over here. Now I just need to, like, pull them in or something. Let's do... I think we need to grease everything up. Neither of them falling down. Cool. Did I mention I restarted after they messed up the hotfix? I think you did? Although, what was wrong with the hotfix? Because I don't think I had any issues. 
Yeah, I think you said you had to redo your build because of the hotfix. I think that's what you said. I may be remembering explained in a post. I don't suppose that post was on Steam, was it? Uh, oh. Oh, here we go. Back at the Goblin Camp, there's, like, rooms I've missed. Yeah, there's a ton of rooms in the Goblin Camp. Uh, yesterday we had to roll back Hotfix 4 because of a rare compiler issue. To avoid this from happening again, we're changing the way we deploy patches. Players who had downloaded Hotfix 4 were unable to continue from their Hotfix 4 saves once we had rolled back the patch. While this is not okay, rolling back the patch in order to diagnose the problem and those exposed to it was the lesser of two evils. We truly appreciate your patience and understanding while we work to understand the problem. The situation is remedied now with the re-release of Hotfix 4, but we recognize this frustration caused by this and want to apologize. That's why we're changing things up. All of you should now be able to continue your adventures, but essentially here's what happened. Hotfix 4 went through a rigorous QA pipeline and was confirmed as a candidate for release yesterday. However, we triggered a rebuild of the version relatively last minute to change the version number. The version that was cooked was unfortunately plagued by compiler corruption, which was causing certain exceptions that normally wouldn't cause crashes to, you guessed it, cause crashes. Since compiler issues like that are extremely rare, we weren't prepared for it. We should have been. We messed up. Didn't help that happen at the worst possible time of day, but luckily we have studios in multiple countries. Overnight for Europe, our teams in Canada, and then in Malaysia worked to diagnose what went wrong so that work could begin on redeploying a fixed version of the hotfix. To avoid this from happening in the future, we'll be making sure that any change made to future version candidates, no matter how small or innocuous, will always go through our full and comprehensive QA pipeline, which includes a global in-house QA team, automated testing, unit tests, and safe game compatibility testing. Uh, what did they actually do with Hotfix 4? Uh, fix players getting stuck mid-long rest due to companions not waking up. Okay, it's mostly just fixes. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm pretty much unaffected by it anyways. Thousand fixes in the first patch? I would hope so. Because there are quite a number of bugs that they can fix. Uh, yeah, I already cast Grease. Okay, I should be okay. Good, it's hot in here. And we'll cleave. There we go. Yeah, I'm inter interested to see what exactly they fix. Kind of not playing that much because I don't know all the bugs. Yeah, that's fair. But I'm kind of interested to see what they actually fix because there are a number of builds that rely on what people aren't sure are bugs or not, including one of the builds I'm using. Because my wizard here is kind of reliant on the uh, wizard. You can use any scrolls as long as you have the uh, caster class level for it. You can learn any scrolls as long as you have the caster class level for it. I don't think personally it's a bug, but there's a lot of people online that do. So, I'm curious to see if it is or not. And I know one of the strongest builds is also reliant on one of, one of those with the uh, extra attack granted by the uh, Warlock stuff combined with the normal extra attacks. So, I am definitely interested to see where that goes. Alright, we got spiritual weapon up. Let's jump over that so I don't have to walk through it. Actually, we'll use command. Uh, I think we're going to do command approach. We'll do level 2. We'll have them co come towards me. Oh, they gotta come over here. Oh, this one's saved. Damn. Uh, I think we're actually going to keep this guy pretty much right here.
Did it walk through Cloud of Daggers again? Yes, it did. Uh, let's see. Outside normal range. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Really? Oh, Cloud of Daggers went away. That's upsetting. I think Flint here is uh, bugging out slightly. Uh, let's do teleport over here. And... Yeah, we're just going to do normal attack. All right, now we'll do Reckless. All right, never mind. Stay focused. Let's do a healing word. And... Firebolt. Where do I go from here? Uh, from here? We heal up slightly. That's what we do. And we might as well attack. Alright. I'll just hit his laughter. That's that one. I think we'll do it on this one. There we go. Turn. Really? They go. They do way too much damage. Ah, damn. Oh, let's see. He's down for a little while. Teleport over here. Really? Ah, damn. Okay. Can we at least kill it with spiritual weapon? Thank you. Um, let's help up Shadow Heart. And yeah, can't do a whole lot else right now. That's fine. Yes, attack your your warlord there. All right, let's teleport back over here. Go ahead, attack. Thank you. Alright, in turn, do healing word. And we're gonna run over here so that guy can't actually hit them. Take a potion of healing and run over here. There we go. And we'll get closer to this one. I think Flynn has this one covered. Yeah. Um. Okay, yeah, I can do sneak attack. Yeah, I'm kidding me. Alright, now that I can actually do stuff, go cast, cast mage armor. I, I need mage armor. Need to find a way forward. 
Um, oh, perfect. I can go up here. There we go. It's go time. Perfect. She's still ravenous. Her mind a hungry pit. The flesh of her pack wasn't enough to satisfy her. Let's sever the mental connection and prepare to fight. God damn! Okay. Uh, can I do Tash the City's Laughter? That's only 25%. Alright, we'll just do a normal range attack. Alright, I'll take a crit after all that. This is worth the cost. And what do I got for scrolls? Anything I can use. Half damage with weapon attacks using strength. Let's go for it. God damn it. Alright, we're gonna have to end turn. Don't you dare kill Karlak. Karlak's dead. Shadow Heart's not even in the fight. Can't afford to let up. Oh, maybe she is. Okay. Um. All right, 36. I do Twin Spell. And a Chromatic Orb. We'll do Thunder. We'll do it at level 2. Already targeted, damn it. Okay, never mind. Alright, we'll just do level 2 Chromatic Orb then. 4 to 32 damage. Hopefully this hits. Of course, it's a, it's a mess. Um... Let's, uh... Let's fly away. Let's fly away real quick. And six percent for charm person, damn. All right, what about arrow fire. Okay, really tempted to do this. All right. Kind of dash out of the way and go really far away. I think that's what we're doing. Quickly. Damn it. Don't you dare. What's the plan? Uh, alright, I can only do level one. That's fine. Ooh, perfect. Killing word. Everyone alive. Take two. Time to push my luck again. And I can't really do anything. Time for a cup. Starian. Let's see. Can I do cunning action hide? Yes, I can. And a sneak attack. There we go. Alright, what do you got? Yeah. Parasite. That thing. I see you just have hyena ears. Don't you? Maybe you're a lucky day, but... Uh, Arlac's dead. 
Can you at least let me survive? Are any of my crew still alive out there? My party member. All I saw was blood and guts. I guess that's a no. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard's a long way from here. Where are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Oh, uh, where's that? Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Ooh. Tell the fellow on the door. Little serpent, long shadow. He'll take good care of you. Rugen! It's fine. We'd be dead if they hadn't shown up. A little hospitality won't do any harm. What's in the chest, your cargo? Oh, the whole reason we're in this mess. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Tarenths. Tarenths are the currency of the Zentarim. A network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. Alright, so these aren't good people, essentially. So, you're a Zentarim. Your people don't deal in baubles. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever lad like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. Uh, yeah, sure. That's fine. Because I still gotta bring Arlac back to life. Arlac, my love! Come back to me! I know you do. Let's take a short rest. A brief respite. And then we're going to separate the party real quick. Starion. Subtle steps. That's curious. All right, let's make sure we're not visible. Go ahead and hide. Let's go ahead, lockpick. Ooh. Wenny. Alright, I think we're good. Wait, no, that's a critical fail. Never mind. Let's try again. For some reason I thought that was a 13. Is that another critical fail? Really? And it's not a critical fail, it's still a fail, but jeez. Yeah, a one, a one, and then a three? There we go. Oh, don't you dare come over here. No, don't come over here. Let's... God damn it, you turned around. Really? You gonna stay in view? Uh, Minor Illusion? Cast Minor Illusion over here. Come on. There we go. Let's grab these. Work Fang. Okay. Uh, let's see. Best way to get out of here. Probably this way.
Chest's intact, more or less. Yep, exactly. It's intact, nothing wrong with it. There's absolutely nothing wrong. I don't feel lucky. The rest of our crew's half digested, and you're still alive. That's lucky. All right. Get stuff. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Let's inspect real quick. Operated with a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Let's investigate the flask. Hopefully we don't get another critical fail. Go ahead and grab guidance. 19, I'll take it. Disguised All right. among the decorative elements, you notice a familiar arcane engraving. This is a powerful magical item, capable of trapping and holding a creature. I do happen to know from my personal playthrough what is already in this thing. I will not spoil. Oh, it's good. It's already on there. Don't even have to worry about that. So we're not going to go into that. But uh, I will be using that to my advantage. More loot. Um, yeah, let's keep going this way. I think we need to go over to, yeah, meet with Rugen's associates. Scott, rescue the Druid Halsen, investigate the temple, get help from Auntie Ethel, get in cash, investigate the beach. Save the refugees. Okay. Got a few things here. Alright, let's find... Well, this place over here. Joaquin's rest is uh, looking a little burnt up in the moment. going on here he of the unsleeping eyes grant me the might to carry this burden grant me the faith to face darkness without fear what the hell's happened here a massacre drow and goblins slaughtered the lot please just leave me be all right fine whatever Shouting. Someone needs help. Uh, Carlac. Graduate Raven Girl could be inside. Don't just stand there. Push. All right, come on, Carlac. Push. Use all your strength. Just push them aside and do it yourself, because you're the only one capable. Yep, that's how we do things. Inside, hurry! We don't have much time. All right. Can you hear me? I'm gonna separate the party here. We hear you. Stay where you are. We don't have much time. Find out. I'm trapped. Everybody's going upstairs. Oh, ow. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, sweet. Bar Barbarian is uh, 
gives you advantage. Advantage, reason, barbarian. It's all you need. Oh, apparently clicking it while it's doing it will just skip all of all that. You did it. Uh, thank you. Now, how the hell do we get out of here? Front door. <coughs> the smoke. I can't see a damn thing. All right, so just follow me. <coughs> right. Jeez, you make this I'm so difficult. Oh, entering turn-based mode. Um, not what I wanted to do. Don't burn yourself. Oh, you know what? I can attack the broken door here. And have him and control knocked down. Alright, fine, I'll in turn. Environmental turn, come on. Alright, Carlac. Oh, he's already up. Perfect. Let's get him out here. I jump. Might not be able to. Can't reach destination. Alright, we'll just go that way. Harlac! What next? Oh, I used too much movement. That's fine. Uh, where's Dash? You can take a little fire damage. Actually, you'll heal up real quick. Let's go ahead, open this up. There we go. Come. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Where is he? Did he die? He might have died. Oh well, I tried to save him. Get down there. No, he didn't die. Wait, or was that somebody else? At last. Your boldness is a blessing. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you alright? takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Can they? Gauntlet, report to the manor and send for reinforcements. Also. We must find the Duke. Is she fuckable? On your command, Counselor. The rest of you. If she's fuckable, I'm dead. down. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The council will reward I'm just you. some random person that was standing yeah, by while Tiefling true. ran in there and helped you out, so I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see... I mean, I am a noble, so... Raven Guard's a champion to the people of Baldur's Gate. A champion indeed. He's the invisible force holding Baldur's Gate together. Without him, the city faces collapse. In fact, I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Why entrust this to me? You have others at your command. By the time aid arrives, it might be too late. You've the heart of a dragon and the will of a hero. I'm sorry, what? Tell me, I can count That's news to me. How did I get the heart of a dragon? Alright, I'll travel west and rescue Duke Cravenguard. Thank you. And should your courage falter, remember the Duke's generosity. That I will. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. You're making a lot of assumptions here. To work. 
Ooh. Um, Sparky Points, Trident, Spell Sparkler. When the wielder deals damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain two lightning charges. They will. I, I gotta go with Spell Sparkler. I don't know if Baron survived. I don't think he did. Oh well. Let's get going. Uh, let's see. Currently have a Rain Dancer. What's cooking? Is that blood? Can I dual wield? No, I can't. Oh, that's disappointing. It's been really cool to dual wield those. Partially deciphering the necromancy of Thay, you gain a plus one bonus on wisdom saving throws and ability checks. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I had that. That works for me. Alright, what do these guys have? Better be a lot. Looks like it might be a lot. I'm gonna take everything. Craft armor. No magic left, though. Sun's too bright. Ooh, they normally have magic, you say? Hot bed. My computer heats up like a monster. How much farther can I go? I mean, how much are you willing to sacrifice for, uh, for a good-looking game? That's the question. Oh, there we go. There's the waypoint. Got that 100 FPS, it still heats up a ton. Damn. Is this playing, uh, Baldur's Gate? I have mine capped out at 60. But it was causing issues if I left it uncapped past that point. Diablo 4 and also Baldur's Gate. Well, I can't speak for Diablo 4, but Baldur's Gate, it was having issues with just my streaming software alone. Where it was causing it to lag. If it was, uh, if the frame rate was uncapped. Speak with Benren. Oh, I did rescue him. Okay. Yeah, capping at 60 seems to be doing okay for me. Where is Benrin? Are you in here? Almost want to buy a 4070 Titan just to see if it makes less heat. That's an excellent question. Okay, good. He's in here. He did make it. Mary. No. Gods. No, oh, is that his no, wife no. or something? You should have stayed. You should have been with me. How did you two get separated? I was in our room. We oh, they were together. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still, she'd still be here. And I don't know if a forty seventy would make less heat though. What was that about, Dowry? For a sister's wedding. They made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours. Then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. This isn't on you. There's no way you could have known. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Please, just go. I need a moment with her. Actually, if you don't mind, 
think of games whose DLSS 3 would not take as much to get to 144 FPS. Probably not. We're gonna cast Speak with Dead on, on her. See if she uh, can tell us where the dowry is. You're, you're a medium. You're gonna speak to her. Oh, I can actually ask her something for me. Oh, that's actually really sweet. Maybe. What do you want me to ask? She'd know where it is. Hey, I was thinking the exact same thing. Dowry for sister in barn. The barn. She must mean one of the empty buildings behind the inn. All I right. Trust you to get it for me. I can't leave her. The corpse oh. regards you. All right. So that was one of the That's five all. questions. Uh, why were you at the inn? Elder God, traveling, sister's wedding. How'd you die? Finding husband, Ben Rin, inside, door. Oh, she was looking for her husband. Fire. Who are you? That's three questions plus the first one, so. Right. Inside room, top floor. That's the last question I can ask. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Damn. <laughs> Alright, let's just leave, because, you know. Wait, can I do the same thing in the other ones? Uh, stained book. Greet your inner Goliath. Nat, knee grabber, half shank, stones cast by your enemies designed to keep you down, or stepping stones you can rise above. Inside every gnome lies an inner Goliath. By setting aside doubt, negativity, and a modest subscription fee, you too can learn to grow inside and out. Details over leaf, don't delay, harness your hidden height, and watch your enemies shrink before you. Yeah, I keep forgetting you can die clothes in this game. So it is spoken, and so is it done. Alright, let's bring this guy back. The corpse does not respond. Oh, never mind. Alright, let's bring this guy back. Interrogate him. The corpse regards you. Lifelessly. You can get a surprising amount of information out like this. Why were you at the inn? Great. Retrieval for the absolute. Where are you where were you trying to take the dew? Was the raid successful? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. That's fair. You died beforehand. How'd you die? Archer. Roof. Should have seen. And who are you? Zayrin. Zayrin. The spell's power wanes. That answers nothing, but okay. No questions. Found out you guys went to Moonrise Towers. We're coming from Moonrise Towers. Really cool looking drow paladin now. I like it much more than Ranger. I'm assuming people don't trust you though, because you're playing a drow. Um let's see. Where is the dowry? Probably over there then. Let's jump over here. Don't want to get burned. Frightened ox. Where's my... 
Saw someone get an owlbear cub, but I don't know where it is. I actually do know how to get the owlbear cub. Uh, basically, if you've... If you've dealt with the owlbear mother, uh, it's near where the Blighted Village is. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, basically down here there should be a uh, opening to a cavern where there is an owlbear mother and owlbear cub. If you kill the owlbear mother but don't kill the owlbear cub, over in the goblin camp here, basically eventually the owlbear cub will be over here being used as part of a game for the goblins. And you can rescue the owlbear cub, and then a few days later, it should join your camp. I have actually done that on uh, my uh, my personal playthrough. Ah, oh, crap. I wanted to do uh, speak with animals before I did this. Let's back away. Oh, he's going to make me kill it, really? Not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Gonna have to die, Ox. And bone chill. Sorry, little guy. Didn't want to kill you, but, you know. Alright, I don't want to go to that, though. I want to look for that dowry. That's what I want to do. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? Haystack? Is it in the haystack? Looks like there's a chest. It is! Dowry ring. It's only 20 gold. Okay. Guess I might as well just give it back to him, then. Oil barrel? Oh, hello. Who's this guy? You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. Well, uh, recite Rugen's passphrase: "A little serpent, long shadow." Oh, orbs. I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you best be quick. Oh, Empty sweet. Just the wardrobe. Here's the key. Bunch of traders? Illegal traders? Smugglers? At the wardrobe, right? Where is the wardrobe? Oh, here it is. I don't see the wardrobe, though. Center room basement. This place is kind of cool. Not mean to zoom in that much. All right. So they said if you're looking to trade, where are the people to trade with though? Oh, it's behind the wardrobe. Got it. Ancient sigil circle. That's room hideout. Okay. There's probably nothing in any of these, is there? Oh, camp supplies. I'll take those. Oh yeah, take all these. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Whoa, hold your arrows. This is Rugen's savior, I'll bet. He told us all about you. Oh Come good. My reputation precedes me. As a friend of the family. Oh, 
Uh, before I do that, let me. Interesting. Can I not actually get into these? Is it bugged out? I hope it's not bugged out. Also, how do I get down there? Oh, door. Duh. Can we not walk straight on the trap? Alright, um... Carlac, You stay here, because you currently have a... Actually, let me just unequip that real quick. Because I know how this is going to go. I'm going to walk on the oil and... Um. Seems like Will and Carlac will play nice from now on. Saves us having to pick sides. I think some weird stuff is going on. Uh, is what the hell's going on? No need for this. Free me now, and I'll see that my patron rewards you. It's happened before. The hell? Is my game just bugged out right now? Let's let's reload. That's that's weird. It's like it's bugged out. I don't know what's causing it. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, here we go. Now let me do stuff. There's it was because I was doing stuff like this and I went into uh, dialogue. Don't like that random zero. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Whoa, hold your arrows. This is Rugen's savior, I'll bet. All right, Come let me on skip in. this because I've already done it. Okay, these are working. I'm assuming it's not bugged out anymore. Uh, let's quick save. While it's working. Easy. This place is hungry for blood. What do you mean by that? Looks like a trap there. A trap. Hope you won't follow me. All right, and then Carlac. Let's take that off for the moment. I don't need you to uh, light this oil on fire. Besides the bleeding obvious, he misses the sun. He what? You don't want to keep Zaris waiting. Believe me. All right, where's Zaris? Oh, wait, is he being tortured because I took the thing? <laughs> That would be awesome if it is. All right, let's. Don't want open flames where we're going. Yeah, Ollie's dead too. Damn. Okay. I was glad to see Rugen until he told me he lost the ship. Yeah, he's being tortured because I stole the uh, shipment. Creates debt, and debt requires payment. 
But he'll live. I owe you one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Even if it's yeah, just don't look in my inventory. That's worth some coin. And my thanks. Pity we didn't have you on the job from the start. Yes. Pity. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Ooh, I can give her the flask. I'm not going to, but I could. Uh, what makes that cargo so important? That's Zent business, not yours. Fair you enough. Give me a service. Doesn't make you one of us. Alright, let's trade. Yeah, you got nothing. My patron rewards you. Rubble, what are you planning Someone to do? Kidnapped a duke. Right on our bloody doorstep. The flaming fist will need someone to blame. I, don't I mean, there's drow raid. This. Don't need to blame it on you guys when they know it's a drow raid. Alright, so who do I talk to for, uh... Buying stuff? One of you guys? Wow, this is actually a pretty big area, isn't it? You don't want to keep Zara's weight. All right. What about you? Well, don't you cut a fine figure? Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most pet artist. Politeness. You have a pet artist? Let's say we're his patrons. Yeah. Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? That sounds like you abducted him and yeah. You have anything else to trade? Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. Not gonna judge too much. Let's see, giant breaker. Your weapon hits hard enough to send your target reeling for two turns. Titan string bow, weapon deals additional damage equal to your strength modifier. That's a huge maybe. Put that on Karlak for, to give her some ranged options. Three potion of invisibility, amulet of elemental torment. Yeah, no. Gloves of Hail of Thorns. That's tempting. Jolty Vest. Take one less slashing damage. When the wearer takes damage while having lightning charges, the attacker must succeed a dexterity saving throw or become shocked. That's pretty cool. Gloves of Thievery. That would be useful on Asterion. Chainmail plus one. Ringmail plus one. Scale mail. Chain shirt. Leather armor. Padded armor. Rupturing blade. Albert plus one, plus one, plus one. The violin. And drum. Alright, I don't think he has a whole lot that I want at the moment. I will kind of give these away real quick, though. Uh, not going to do that one, though. <laughs> I wonder if I tried to sell the iron flask, if I would get in trouble or something. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use the shattered flail. I'll keep it, though. Might just keep it in camp or something. Yeah, let's just grab that. All right. 837 gold. This one's 162, though. Let's grab... Oh, you know what? Let's switch to Darian. Although he already has gloves of power. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, we'll sell this. Alright. Nothing that I really wanted, then.
Alright. Well, that was nice and all. Let's turn a note. Closes are more volatile than a dragonborn spellch, and they cost more than most of your worth, so stop messing with them. It took me half the day to attach the mines to the ceiling, and somebody took one down and lobbed it down the elevator shaft. If you're going to waste resources, Zeris would remind you that you are resources. She's not above throwing you down the shaft. Do you really want to risk attracting the attention of whatever might be at the bottom of that shaft? We're professionals. Act like it, or I'll break your fingers. That's, uh... Alright. Interesting. I wonder if I could send the uh, Flaming Fists down here. See what happens. It's tempting. Alright, let's go up the ladder. Anything in these? Ooh, potatoes. I'll always take some potatoes. Pears. Definitely need more camp supplies, that's for sure. Ooh, sausage. Uh, rotten tomato, rotten carrot? No, thank you. What we got in here portal sherry, wine, black staff, carafe of wine. So much food. Take the water. Let's see. Damaged face, and yeah, we're good. Anything over here? Oh, hello. I'm assuming if I wasn't allowed in there. I would have needed this. Uh, Nine Fingers. Here falls report on the inroads upstart smuggler, Bar Gortash. There was a thing from Nine Fingers earlier from that that courier. I don't know. I don't remember what it was about though. So, okay, I got 255 camp supplies. Got plenty. Got plenty now, but I need more! Hmm. Give me all the camp supplies. Please. Thank you. You got nothing in you. You're useless. Ooh. Yes, please. Five carrots and a courgette. Why not? Right, I think we're pretty much good here. Yeah. How many supplies do I have? 299, alright. Cliff notes on today. Uh, we went up to. Oh, wait. So we talked to Damon. Uh, started repairs on Carlax Infernal Engine. Then we came up north here. Yes, Albear Cub uh, ends up in Goblin Camp, but you have to encounter the uh, Mother first, which I already have, thankfully. Uh, we went up here and dealt with Knowles attacking the uh, traders that had the cargo with them. Took the stuff out of the cargo without them noticing. Then came over to Joaquin's rest. Rescued the Chancellor lady from over here. Told us that the Grand Duke uh, got kidnapped by the Drow Raiding Party. Then we came over here. Talked to basically the guys who were running the cargo from up here. Uh, turns out because we stole the cargo from them, they killed one of them and tortured the other. And yeah, now we're here. We're leaving that. We are going to now talk to uh, one of the guys we rescued from the fire over here. Uh, basically, his wife died. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a decent amount. Uh, wife died. 
guy's wife died, and uh, he was looking for the dowry they had for his sister's his sister in law's wedding. I think it was, and the wife hit it right before she died in the fire up here. We just found his ring as well. <laughs> Found the dowry. Here. I know this doesn't change anything, but it helps. Thank you. I mean, it's only worth twenty gold, so. I need some time alone with her. To say goodbye. You could have said goodbye when I used speak with dead on her, but hey, whatever. At least you know that she came back for you and died trying to save you. It's all your fault. Hey, what do I know? Alright, let's get out of here. Um, I think we're going to do a long rest real quick. I'm really hoping I get the cutscene or the dialogue that lets me start using Illithid powers soon. Is there water deep? What's going on with that? Gale's condition has deteriorated once more. He requires us to procure him a third magical item. Great. Wow, you look like you're really suffering, dude. Thank goodness that's all dealt with. The odds are stacked high enough against us already. No need to turn on each other. What are you talking about? Oh, he's talking about Carlac and uh, Will. All right, I've got a magical that artifact you'll be interested in. To to hear. May I? Let's... Actually, let's give him the Shattered Flail, because I'm not going to use that. Thank you. Help? It hardly has any effect. Okay. No effect. Oh, Mr. Great. Have mercy on us all. Yep, we're all gonna die. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Oh, hey, he's finally gonna tell all of us what's going on. Go on, you're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. Okay. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later even my lover. All right, cool. You slept with the goddess of magic. <laughs> Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. So, for those of you who don't know D&D lore, uh, basically, ninth level spells are the most powerful spells that people can use. And one of the things that Mistra does is prevent people from using more powerful spells, like level 10 and higher. Because that's basically the realm of the gods and can destroy reality itself. So that's one of the things she does. Uh, that's as tantamount to heresy as a wizard can come. Perhaps. 
But enticements beyond the perimeters of mortality are powerful motivators. I tried to convince her. Yeah, when he's talking about seeing war, he's talking about higher level than ninth level. Only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. Inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. Yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Oh no, do share. I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. <laughs> if I just show her how right I am, she'll change her mind. Yeah, that's exactly what he thought. His entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even yes, the yes, the cub can just be left there eating its mother. Fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. And yeah, this is a specific event he's talking about called the Time of Troubles. She restored the weave. It's a specific event in uh, Forgotten Realms history. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. Netherese tone in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? <laughs> Must admit, that sounds like a tempting proposition. I don't discredit my reasoning. Alas, that my execution was rather less sound. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and... Weird you don't hear about Alanda. It is a little weird. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You're not trying to kiss me again, are you? I don't want to have to turn you down again. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is Oh, his tadpole is quivering. Into the dark. Well, I don't want to go into his dark. Staring down the corridors of a dread my hand away terrifying isn't it and that is only the beginning this netherese blight this orb for lack of a better word is balled up inside my chest and it needs to be fed as long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources it remains quiet were it ever to fully destabilize however what would happen Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it would level a city the size of Waterdeep. Oh, that's fun. Is there nothing we can do? Chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I mean, no matter where you are, we're basically going to die anyways, so... Might as well keep going. Come this far together, and we'll continue on together. That's how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. 
You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. Just don't die in a strange accident, please. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Use this gale smell you later. <laughs> oh, you're a ticking time bomb? Okay, bye. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. I think I was a little loud there. I think I uh, made the downstairs neighbor's dog start barking. Whoops. Let us venture forth. Wow, he's finally tired of the sound of his own voice? Damn. Yeah, Carlac's fine. Carlac can stay. Carlac can always stay. <laughs> Just the face? I can think of a few more things she can blow up. All right, let's talk to Will. Will's brows furrow as your minds connect. Don't actually need Gail since I'm playing to use Will. See, Chaz. He has a Dodge. horrible history. Older Raven a horrible, taken. horrible history of all of his friends dying in strange accidents. So, the more friends he can have, the better. Even if they're taking time bombs. Must know the man, judging by the concern in your voice. I know him better than most. He's my father. Oh. I know I haven't said. So we should definitely try and save him. Was no matter of Don't try and let him die at all. Okay, cool. Him. Then the choice is clear. We just rescued Duke Gravengard. Thank you. That means a lot. But I wonder, what makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Men's Oberanzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. All right. Let's talk to Asterion. I assume he's going to talk about. Does looking? What are you doing? Too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. Oh, he doesn't have. Can't even see his own face. That's sad. Do you miss it? Seeing your own face. Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've Aww. never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. What color were they before? I, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, that's sad. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Oh, crap. Another He's got seven past. years of bad luck. Just broke that mirror. I know he did. Stare into his eyes, taking in every detail of his face. What? I'll be your mirror. What do you want to know? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What you see. Strong, piercing eyes. Oh. Go on. A am I going to accidentally romance Asterion now? That dangerous Very smile. Good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Carlac is beautiful. You're fine, though. How dare you? I thought we had something special. Still, you're nice too. Carlac is beautiful. I better get some beauty sleep. It seems I need it if I'm to catch up with the competition. Oh, so Carlac's competition now. Okay. Uh, let's see, Shadowheart doesn't want to talk. Alright, so I'm hoping, really, really hoping... Probably not. God damn it. 
No, god damn it. I really want to meet the Guardian. Apparently I haven't triggered it yet. I need to use the Alithid powers a certain amount of times to trigger it, though. Oh, god. Alright. Let's head over to the Goblin Camp. Because I'll definitely be able to use the powers there. Also, how much XP do I need? 2798. Uh, is this the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. Okay. All right, what now? <laughs> Haven't seen that game in years. All right, so let's head over there. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. Right way. Yes, this is the right way. Okay. So here's the plan. We're going to basically convince them that uh, we're part of their group, and then slowly kill them all off. Look at Claw, Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Stand aside. I got plus one for forbidden knowledge. I like that. I... Um... Down, claw, a shadow swims across your vision, and a familiar voice tells you. Did I unlock it now? Calm. You are loved. Easy, let's. I think I did unlock We've it now. Got a okay. Soul coming through. I'm looking for a druid named Halson. Where is he? I don't know any house in your excellness. I heard he was captured breaking into this very camp. Oh, one of them thieves. If he ain't dead, he's in the pits with the rest of them. Sounds rancid. Let's see if we can get him out of there. Oh, we will. Oh man, what can I expect Let's inside? Celebrating the raid on Joaquin's rest. We kept it a duke, we did. All the way from the city. Is the Duke here? I'm sure the higher ups will make sure you get the best of the spoils, your excellness. The boss is in the temple inside. Uh, Midara, too. And and Priestess Gut can show you how many new recruits we got. Ooh. Much I love XP from that, actually. Alright. Let's go check all this out. Uh, what if I don't want to? This is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others. Only infinitely stronger and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you an armored male elf exuding power and command, a handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile, and a pale young woman. With even paler eyes. Interesting. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them. Search for the prism. In my presence. I'm assuming the prism is what shut you at that thing. Assuming that's the prism. Feel energy 
energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. Go away, voice. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws. Yeah, I think I'm good. I don't want to deal with the reckoning. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. That we should. Nice one, Shadowheart. That thing in your pocket seems powerful as hell. That power is what happens to others when we use the parasite on them? Perhaps. But whatever it was, I don't want to experience it again. Hold on, that artifact seemed to stop the voice. What is it? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. All right, there must be more to it. I need you to level I... with me. I am a servant of Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. I need to bring that artifact back there. No matter what, I can't tell you anymore. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. Will they restore your memories, though? the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. I mean, the truth helps. Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. No, no, we're not entitled to any more anymore. Uh, faith is your own concern, not mine. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I, I know worshippers of Shar are kind of shitheads, but you know, okay. You're currently our healer. That's all that matters. Now that the truth's out, tell me more. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. All right, let's go. Having a little party over here. Sounds like they've captured themselves abroad. Recoil of you must. Solo. A stranger in a. Hey, it's these two that I rescued from before. Sounds like he's running out of rhymes. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering. Ragslin is a punk. Do you mean that in a good way or a bad way? And drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had let you collide. Well, Grubo is, uh. definitely. interested. <laughs> he kicked you off clips. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Uh, bravo. Who's that? Friend of yours? You up to something? Certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying? To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, draw Ragslin, uh, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, oh, she doesn't like me. Uh, draw Ragslin, um, um, Tumptuous, uh, uh, draw Ragslin. Uh, um, you broke him. Sorry. Wait. Uh, draw I didn't Ragslin. mean to break him. Come on, Although, to, from the sound of it, he might have already been breaking. Let's get a new one. 
It's only Volo. He'll be fine. Alright. Oh, you're talking about gold. Oh, thanks for the follow, Jessica. Appreciate that. Alright, let's see what you have. Swire's these shoes. Jump distance is increased by 1.5 meters. Acrobatics plus one. That's useful. Height armor plus two. Cool. Uh, some dies. Gloves of archery. Gain proficiency with long bows, short bows. Range weapon attacks deal additional two damage. That might be useful. Boots of aid and comfort. When the wearer heals a target, it gains an additional three temporary hit points. That is going straight on Shadowheart. Definitely. Uh, let's just go into trade mode. Let's see what else we got. Is it just ooh, Doom Hammer? Each strike fills the target with a chilling dread that prevents it from regaining hit points. Undead creatures also get disadvantage on attack rolls. That sounds useful. I don't know who I'd put it on. Uh, supplies. I'm good on supplies for the moment. Alright. Let's equip those. There we go. Get moving. I've got other customers. No, you don't. I don't have any other customers. I'm the only one around here. Everybody else, like, is keeping their distance. Ah, here we go. Owlbear Cup. Oh, wait, let me... That's the wrong pouch. Uh, let's see. Potion of Animal Speak. Well now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? All that and more. And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This. What is a standard dungeon dive this to you, anyways? It's chicken chasing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for starters, that's no chicken, that's an owl bear. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. Besides, I reckon it owes us seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a Oh, it ate your actual chicken, you know okay. Or not. It'd be fun. What is chicken chasing exactly? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the calls and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been breasted by the bird. Yeah, this sounds cruel. I'm not gonna be part of it. No skin off my arm. Just remember, you had the chance to but be your arse even has any skin on it. And you walked away. All right, let's talk to the Albert Cup. Hungry. I have a camp. You're welcome there. New home. Maybe. Got to get away from here first. The cub seems anxious to leave, but afraid to defy the goblins. They have to be dealt with, one way or the other. Oh, they will be dealt with. Oh, let's talk to her. Brave enough to take on our new chicken. It's a big one, but that's just more for the chase. I'm not going to spoil anything, but he might. He might. I'm leaving, and the owlbear's coming with me. Is you now? Reckon I feel differently. Reckon the lads will too. The mark glows. But you feel nothing in response. All I'll say is Scratch and the Owlbear have a very wholesome relationship. Uh, Lithid powers beyond reach. Damn it. I'd be doing you a favor. Keeping such a large beast fed isn't easy. Advantage, guidance. Let's do this. Oh yeah, that's it. 
Hmm. Bugger did eat our last chicken. Right, go on then. Fat bird's yours. Don't need the asshole. <laughs> Fat bird's yours. All right, so. It should eventually end up in camp. Eventually. Oh, let's talk to these guys. Sir, I'm glad you found us all right. Odd rubbing elbows with gobs, isn't it? We're still getting used to it. And what about you? So glad to see you safely. She didn't survive the fight with the owl bear in my last playthrough, so. Even if they're a bit unusual. We have to I was hoping she'd have a little bit more. Oh, I believe teleports over here. Let's hope we find him in one piece. There we go. Statue of Selena. This room must have been dedicated to her. But now it's a nest for some filthy goblins. A fitting in. <laughs> Oh, you really don't like Saloon, do you? Fresh is all with me bare hands. We couldn't pick these humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? A half elf. Thinking you rule the world. Damn right I do. But you feel nothing in response. Your lifted power is beyond reach until you rest. That's gonna get annoying. Lots of assumptions here. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. Everyone says that. And then they spit our faces. But no more. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss more foot. And why would I do that? I'll wipe that nasty look right off your pretty face. Well, go on. Give him a nibble. Asterion, you're getting a little too into that. How about you kiss my feet instead? Alright, let's hope for the best here. Ooh. Ooh. It's gonna start a fight, isn't it? Uh, let's roll again. All right, there we go. That's better. Oh, good. Carlack approves. You're not welcome here. I can double down on this. You better kiss my foot now. Come on. Oh my god, 18. Carlax down for the intimidating presence. That's what it is. Wandered into the sky with staring and I sucked the ring off his toe. God damn, really? The goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his Personally, I'm not into sucking toes, so. Kissing his feet, not gonna happen. There. I've done it. Crusher just licked some toes. Alright, what have we got in here? Apples. About the dead adventure. Alvin. Oh, poor Crusher. Had to kiss some toes. Alright, let's head in here. Guard Gurgen. No go inside. Inside boring. Is it though? Is it boring? I feel like it's not that boring. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi! Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work! Are you now? State your business now. 
them all glow. I was uh, actually looking to sell you a cure for baldness. It's just hidden in this here bottle of poison. Uh, I really wish I had my illicit power, damn it. Intimidation seems to be working pretty well, so let's go with that. You don't need to know about my business. Move. Sounds evil enough. Difficulty class 15 again? Oh, perfect. 15. Normally we stick you foreign types in the spider pit. But the absolute says we're all making nice now. So in you go, I suppose. Damn right you suppose. Who's in charge around here? Well now, gonna have to be more specific than that. We're drowning in true souls, here we are. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? Yeah. I'm here to see Gut. Do you now? Might feel different once she puts a burning brand to ya. She's through the main doors. Just follow the smell of burnt goblin arse. <laughs> burnt garp goblin arse, really? Bloody racket. So Luna, as if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. I want to make a new home here. Not your usual haunts, I take it. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Ah, you'll be fine. You'll survive. Let's see, damage face. Got anything in you? No, you don't. Hey, it does smell like burnt goblin arse. Me. Now here's somebody special. The absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you. I will not too. be showing you where Hold where she touched me. So I can mark your flesh. I don't want you to touch me. And uh why should I let you brand me? Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with ya. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. Mm. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Actually, I'd rather not go Maybe through with this. Don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't you? I don't want no like brand on me. Probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a power. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Let's push deeper into her, her mind. Her floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. Hidden? I feel you in Meaning there. she doesn't know about Digging it. Digging around works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. That we do. There's a creature inside. Well, actually, no. Let's talk privately. This is a sensitive matter. Of course. Don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. Yes, let's go to your chapel. Priestess, we want the mark. Why do they think they're talking to a dog? good enough for the absolute. Perhaps that's how we would have ended. I missed that. That's all right. Oh, I was following the wrong goblin. Oh, 
Oi, come here. I ain't waiting around. Ready to clear your head. Yes, I'm ready. I want a crowd of gawpers. Everybody else needs to leave. All right, you heard her. So I'll come out here. All right, let's go back in. I'm gonna have a quick save. Okay, we got water barrels. We got here. Handles. Thing. All right. Ready your soul guts. Your head. Yes, I'm ready. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute, and I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters, so. Now you're just gonna close the door on us. There That's not go. creepy at all. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Uh. Let's allow her to rummage through my memories. Deeper, she sees the mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches. And you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Helps! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Pretty sure one of those parasites is squirming in your head, too. No. It's messing with your brain. You're seeing things, probably hearing voices too, yeah? No more than usual. Alright, get it out of Don't me. Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. Alright. You won't regret I'm ready. this. Let's Being do it. A true soul. You know the absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya. Really? I failed an arcano check? Oh, uh, what's the potion it's for? liquid blessing. It'll cleanse you. And it tastes better than that rock gut at the party. All right, let's drink the potion. So, uh, am I gonna shit my brains out? That's what's gonna happen. This could have gone easy for you. Not now, though. I'll tear you to shreds. Or what? Um. What? All right. Oh, I know she's evil. Uh, so on my previous playthrough, I uh, when I did this, I may have gotten her killed instantly. I guess because I'm a half-elf, sleeping potions don't work on me. Uh, let's see. Whips and blades. Everybody else shot. needs to come in. Oh my god, it's locked, really? Alright, you know what? Still on my feet. She hasn't yelled for help yet. Because if I look around... Yeah, everybody's still normal. So really, I just need to knock her out before that happens. Let's see. Crap. You know what would be really helpful here? Silence. That would be really helpful. I don't have one, though. Because sleep... She has too many hit points for sleep. I don't know what that sound was. Alright. Let's think. 
She actually throws you in prison where the druid is. If you go unconscious, no, she does not. She throws you in a separate prison through this door because the druid is over here. And then what happens is, or at least what happened with me, is that uh, I couldn't break out of the chains. So I passed out. I couldn't remember. I can't remember exactly how I passed out again. But when I woke up, both her, her bodyguard were dead. And uh, a warlock from the devil, Raphael, had come and killed them. And then freed me. Let's think. See, but she did lock the door. So I'm... No, this is another part of the uh, area. Because it's a different prison cell from uh, where the druid is kept. Yeah. Damn it, that's a mess. Uh, let's see. Let's shove, maybe? There we go. Oh, burning hands. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now she aggroed the camp. Alright, let's reload. I was hoping I'd be able to go that route again, but apparently not. I forgot that I made this character a half-elf. It is. That's not as much fun. Uh, let's... Come on. Everybody through. Everybody in. Come on. Should mind my step. And close the door. Can I close the door? Thank you. Alright. Ready to clear your head. And what exactly Whatever are you gonna do? The absolute tells me to. Don't worry, she loves you. I can tell. So my plan is to basically pick off everybody until there's just well, pick off got either Ragslin or Minthar, and then whichever one's left, then I'm gonna grab the druid and then try and kill everybody. Or I might just kill everybody before that. Because I do have a plan for that. What's your plan? I'm gonna kill you. Me. You don't stand a chance. I still haven't given him a melee weapon, have I? Really? 15%? Pretty easy. I think I'm trying to get to level 4 before I fight the bosses. All right, we're just going to attack. I'm going to use Brace. <laughs> really? Can't give up. Not now. Let's see. Level 1 man spell. Nope, that's not going to do much. Actually, no. Let's do Guiding Bolt, I think. At level 2. Shield? Really? Really? Alright. Let's do a great sword. Put it right down there. This might be a problem. Trying to kill her on the first round. Um. No, can't use that. All right. 
Oh crap, I never re-equipped Everburn Blade. There we go. That took... Damn, okay. I was not prepared for this at all. That's a wild magic. Weapon fusion. At the end of your rage, it deals an additional 1 to 6 force damage against the light and throne properties. Alright. Oh, I need to jump for that. In position. Yep, this might be a problem. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid. Alright. I know I'm safe scumming right now, but... Trying to do this a specific way. I might just start doing that, honestly. Actually, does... Does Shadow Heart have silence yet? Uh, there is work to do. Hold person. She does. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of bless and let's do silence. Oh wait, I got another spell I can do. In that case, yeah, bless. Yeah, as long as you don't actually trigger a major fight, you should be good. Even pickpocketing is fine for the most part. Never a dull moment. All right, I should be good with silence. There is silence on here. Right there. Okay. Under turns. Oof. Okay. Because if she's silenced, she can't call for help. And what we're going to do... Uh, oh yeah, it's still way f it's still a ton of fun. So Karlak, we're going to put right next to you. Starion. I get up here from inside? Doesn't look like I can, actually. That's a little annoying. Keep your hands to yourself. Alright, let's jump up here. Can I not jump up there? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> she just took the crate from right under me. Okay, I see how it is. Um, all right. Let's put this one on top. Try to jump up here. <sighs> really? All right, you know what? All right, we'll just go over here. Of course, now she's over here. Let's move. Actually, is there stuff that I can move around? Best keep your hands. There we go. Gonna come back over. Apparently not. For communal use, it seems. Best show. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do this again, because I don't want her right by the door. I was not expecting her to just walk all walk over and just take the crate from right under Asterion. Although that was very amusing. Wait, can Carlac throw Asterion? Up there. Come on, let's go. 
Uh, I think I have to reassign. Yeah, I have to reassign sounds again. Alright. No, he's too heavy. Damn it. Let's go. Alright. Starion, we'll have you go over here. I don't know why I'm jumping, I just am. And Shadowheart. Uh yeah, we'll just leave you right over here. Can't give up now. Alright, let's close the door. Never wanted the easy path. And we'll talk. Ready to clear your head. Change of plan. Yeah, Gonna kill you. Alright, so. Let's try Tasha's hideous laughter. No, it's only 15%, but worth an attempt. Alright. Over here, let's try cunning action hide. Yes. On my way. There we go. And turn. And we'll cast silence. go. Then we'll do spiritual weapon. Do it right there. And turn. Let's go. Alright, let's walk out. And Let's see, what should I cast? What should I cast? Twin spell. I hate that twin spell doesn't let you cast on the same person. Uh, we'll do an upcast magical missile, I think. That's what I was worried about. All right, we'll end turn. And we'll rage. That's our bonus. Till the end of your rage, you can shoot a bolt of light from your chest each turn. All right, sure. Defense. 58% with advantage. Let's go for it. Alright. Damn it. No, we don't. God damn it. Oh, they're only temporarily hostile. They'll be fine. I just have to escape. Are they gonna do anything? Oh god, they're already at the door. Bardic Inspiration. That would be really helpful right now. Cloud of Daggers. That would be really helpful right now. God damn it. Alright. Let's 
brace. And make attack. That shield is gonna annoy the crap out of me, isn't it? See, that's thirty percent. Um, only got sixteen HP. I shouldn't have to worry too much about him. Well, we'll go ahead and cast Blade Ward. And go right here. She's got 13 HP. Should. Why did I do that? She's got shield. Got about that. God damn it. Alright, let's go over here. I completely forgot she had shield. Completely wasted that. Um, reckless attack, reckless attack. And beam of light. I'll take it. Seventy five percent? Really? Missed on seventy five. This is gonna be annoying. Really? Grease? Damn, crit? Alright, Shadowheart's taking a lot of damage here. Yep, opportunity attack, please. Still have shield up, really? Oh, well, that's gonna be annoying. Actually, let's jump out of here, I think. Um, that is an excellent question. What should you do? Let's attack. Blinded helps. And drink a potion. I'll walk over here. It comes easy these days. Alright. Let me do something besides magic missile. Silence is over. Five percent. Um, I'm trying to think. You know what? Time to press. Screw ahead. it. That can wait. We are throwing this thing. They can deal with it. It's their problem now. And... Also call in the ogres. I don't know where they're coming from, but they're coming from somewhere.
Alright, reckless attack. Please. Pommel strike, please. I'll take it. Walk out of the fire real quick. The absolutes will. Did you have to bring me all the way over? There we go. And we'll move over here. Nope, we can't move over there. Guess we're just moving over here. Alright, oh, there they are. Alright, this should be interesting. They're all going to attack the Beholder now. Damn. No, you guys don't get to come in here. Oh, that guy's still blinded. Where is... He's over here. Ah, crap. This is going to gather the entire thing, isn't it? I don't think they're temporary. Nope. Nope, they're all hostile now. Everybody's hostile. I just triggered the entire freaking camp. Not the way I was expecting this to go. Let's see. Do sneak attack. Let's see, bless is broken. Good, they don't need bless. Alright, let's end turn. Alright, let's just finish this guy off. Okay, maybe not. But we're gonna go over here. Just gonna let the ogres and the beholder deal with everybody, essentially. Uh, let's go over here. Go ahead, do a twin spell. Bone chill. Bone chill. I got lightning charges now. So I get plus one to attack rolls and deal an additional one lightning damage. Alright, this should be interesting. Wounding Ray. That just straight up killed it. That straight up killed that one. Okay. Oh, and that guy's paralyzed. Cool. <laughs> oh boy, I knew there was a reason why I brought him out. Uh, let's do potion healing real quick. And. I think I'm just going to come over here. I'm still silenced? I cast spell silenced. Interesting. Ooh, 99%. Yes, please. That guy's dead. He's paralyzed. Interesting. Okay. Thanks. You're fantastic. Oh, here these guys come. Like I said, I may have just triggered the entire camp. Let's heal up everybody, please. Of course, I only did a Starion. Why does it highlight these two if it's not going to heal them? 
Let's see, are there guys over here? There's three that I can see. Enemy too close. Anybody visible from over here? No. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead, heal up. Oh yeah, that's right. I get plus three temporary hit points when I heal now. And I'm just going to end turn. I'm just going to let these guys deal with as much as possible. Let's go ahead, loot true soul gut here. Let's see. Potion of greater healing. Take that. Take her parasite. Roll, yes please, rancid note. That slobber chops druid who is nosing around ain't just some tomb robin adventurer type. Calls himself Halsim, ugly name for an ugly bastard. Had a little word or two with him before the lashers put his hairy arse in the pens. Said he thinks there's something rotten inside us, inside me. Reckons he can help get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need any help from nobody. No ever did. Especially not now the absolute's taking a shine to us. I say there'll be something rotten inside him soon enough. There's a lot of rancid meat down in the pens, and when we cut him open, I'll make sure he stays alive long enough for the maggots to make a nest of him. Alright, let's take the priest's key. Actually, we'll just take all. Alright. Alright, he's frightened. Okay, he's going after the ogres now. Alright, so... Yeah. Can I just go close the door? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Now that the door is closed, you know. Can't get hurt. Not by this guy. Uh, we'll go ahead... I did not want to open the door again! Rage is over. Gotta remember, these guys are allies. Alright, here come some more guys. Oh, there's some over here. Yeah, everybody's hostile now, damn it. Bit too far? Yeah, it's too far. Okay. Now, technically, this will deal extra damage to the spectator, but I'm not going to worry about that. Heading there. Just going to come over here. I see anybody. I can't. Alright. Never mind. Alright, my lightning charges are up. Let's see. We got, we got table. Can I move the table? I can't move the table. Alright, we'll just come over here and turn. Spectator's just basically killing everybody. Close the door again. And turn. And turn. Now, if everybody can just kill each other, that would be fantastic. Um, 
let's do minor illusion. That can uh. All right, yeah, that's not doing anything. Cool. All right, well, let's just go to the door. Can I open the door? If I can get there. I'm getting XP for this, actually. Best be on my way. Critical mess. He's paralyzed. This little guy. Damn. Good thing I'm not fighting it. Find a route. Yeah, this really makes clearing this thing out really easy. Just gonna skip their turns, essentially. Damn, 27 damage. Let's see if they can kill the spectator. Oh, don't you dare come over here. Come on, Fank. Chalk, what are you doing? Alright, you're doing some damage. Time to move. Definitely need to uh, run and hide, though. Before it decides to just shoot lasers at me. Alright. Walk over here. Oh, it's just killing that guy in the cage. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Dad. I may end up having to kill this guy myself. I'm hoping not. damage. And damage on him. Fear Ray. Oh, he's gonna fly back there. Damn, this thing can do a ton of damage. That spiritual weapon disappeared. Only got 45 HP left, though. I think it might be out of spells. Oh, almost. Almost. <laughs> Alright, let's see. 20 damage, it's got 4 HP left. Oh, crap. Now it's flying over here. Alright, um... Well, this is problematic. Don't want to rage again. Not yet. Alright, let's... That's a miss. About 65. There we go. A lump. The deal is done. Now, pay up. Yeah, that's okay. He wants a uh, thousand gold. Uh, I don't have your money. Why you suck 
petulant schemer. I know just the thing to save my appetite. Do you now? Do you? Because, uh... You shouldn't actually be too hard to kill, because I think you used all of your spell slots. Yep. Yeah, you did. You used all of them. Um. Let's do this at level two. And we'll fly over here. I mean, you can't jump over there. There we go. You need to attack him. Four HP left. And sneak attack. There we go. Still alive. So that's Not going how I planned it. But hey, I'll take it. Roll of hold person. The ritual staff as well. Actually, does the spectator have anything? No, it does not. How close are we? 1868. Uh, am I still hostile to everybody? I probably am. God, that thing is just smoking. Alright, let's go in here. No, I'm not hostile. Okay. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. Uh, try to convince them you belong here. Look at me. Do I look dangerous? I'm a sweetheart. Difficulty class 22. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to fight this thing. That's eh, alright. We'll be fine. A valiant but misguided attempt. You will leave this area now. No, I don't think I will. You've been seen re-entering a forbidden area. Alright, let's attack. Um... Only 97. That's fine. Oh, I can Still. get up here. And we'll do cunning action hide. Let's cast Grease, I think. And let's fly up here. What should I do? Excellent question. What should you do? Uh, does she have a weapon? Yes, she does. Let's do command drop. And we'll take a healing potion and turn. Damn, she saved. Alright, Legacy of Avernus Searing Smite, 8 to 31 damage. Takes one to six fire damage every turn. Let's do a sneak attack. Well, that sucks. On the hunt. A better position. 
go over here. Yeah, that should be a good spot. And... Don't chill. I don't think she can heal herself. What do I got in my pouch here? Oh crap, I did not mean to do that. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Let's cast Hypnotic Pattern. Hypnotized. Really, Carlac, you're hypnotized too? Let's help Karlak here. Karlak disapproves? Oh, because I accidentally hit her. Alright. Move by taking damage or when helped. Alright, let's do spiritual weapon. Let's basically set this up. Do a rage. Tucking the life from all nearby creatures and granting you temporary hit points. And that activated this again. Alright, let's go in. Make attack. Make attack. Action hide. Go over here. Time to push my luck again. Yep, yep, that's exactly what we're doing. Um, I think we're gonna do chromatic orb at level two. Yes. Twenty-three damage sounds good. Concentrate. Alright, let's just go in and attack. Of course it's a critical miss. Alright, go ahead and do another reckless attack. It's got one HP. Oh my god. There we go. And there's a bunch of scrolls here. <coughs> Fly pack, I'll take that. Yeah, Melted, if uh, you're still here, this is the prison cell that uh, that basically she took me to. Right here. Uh, there better be a soft bedroll in my near future. Something over there. What is this? Will people stop walking in front of it? Thank you. Gold ring and 50 gold. I will take it gladly. Gnarled tree branch. Yeah, sure. Why not? Build a chest. Amulet of Misty Step. Let's throw that on me. Well, who would that be better on? Maybe Carlac. Put it on Carlac. Uh, let's see. Recipe of elixir of arcane cultivation. So I need vitriol of weave moss and supplement of belladonna. That gives me, I believe, extra spell slots. Is it poison? Sure, why not? Potions. Crash. Nothing. Animal carcass. I don't know why an animal carcass on the, is on the bed, but hey, who am I to judge? Those are rotten fish. Hmm. 
bones, cool. Uh, Saloon guides us through the night. She is the moon, the stars, her tears. Her sister tries to douse her light, but she protects us from our fears. Char will take your sorrow from you, but beware her night is dark. She'll hide your pain and secrets too, and all your joy and all your spark. Sylvanas, god of all that's wild, of nature's danger and its charm. His glory is not to be defiled, or you yourself will come to harm. Nice gold. Very well. Anything in these? Probably not. Nope. Alright. And take a long rest right here. Oh, here we go. This is what I've been wanting. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Uh, I'm gonna blink away the discomfort. The world swims as you close, then reopen your eyes. How long have you been waiting here? A moment? A night? A ten day? Uh oh. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. Weird fetish, but okay. Be with my blade. First you, then the others. Then, myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. Ooh, I can explore her mind. This fever, rest will break it. I can just let her, her kill me. Okay. I can try and kill her. I think we're just exhausted, though. Lower the blade before you do something foolish. Might not end well. Okay, there we go. Bah! I cannot trust my own mind! So it seems I must trust yours. I yes, trust my mind but before no, yours. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. The stab Gale. It'll end everybody. I came just in time. You are transforming. Hello, beautiful. I honestly completely forgot how I made her look. Completely forgot. I know your voice. I've heard it before. It's almost like you're the narrator, some kind of dungeon master. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You can save me all you want. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Let's see. Let's take the hand offered to us. We have 
spent much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Done. You don't have to tell me twice. Look, it's the skull of a god. A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. Interesting. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. I like how Carlac has still got her rage active, apparently. <sighs> All right. Now, let me sort this. I should be able to consume these. This one is a true soul parasite. It can enhance you. You can absorb its potential. Open your mind to it. You already know how. I like how everybody's watching me. Open your mind to the tadpole. Your mind swells as it subsumes everything the tadpole has to offer. Everything it was and everything it was destined to be. Pure potential. Pure power. Good. Damn right it is. You have grown your power and improved your chances of survival. All right. I've got lifted powers now. Um, let's see, we're going to get favorable beginnings. Just throwing parasites into my brain. Um, look at the Far Realms. Let's see... Because favorable beginnings. So first attack roll or ability check check you make against any target gains a bonus equal to your proficiency bonus. The first time I do anything to something, I get basically a bonus. And then luck of the far realms basically lets me trade in my reaction for a guaranteed critical hit. Which is really freaking good. Uh... All the week when you bring a creature down to fewer hit points than your number of evolved illithid powers it dies and all nearby creatures take one to four psychic damage that's interesting i don't have enough to get that right now but concentrated blast you must be concentrating on another spell to cast this if the target was concentrating you heal as much of the as the damage that was dealt to it. Alright, so we're going to get Concentrated Blast. Ooh, I can get either or. I think I'm going to do Psionic Black Backlash. There we go. Don't mind me. I'm just going all out with the Lithid Powers. Nothing else. 
All right. Everybody's got reactions to this. I know Come they do. On, don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles. No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet. Now you mention it, I do feel a sudden unrelenting urge to crack open your... Never mind. Replete with ribaldry as always. Well, you could provide no better proof that you are not, in fact, about to turn into a mind flare. Great. Famously humorless, Elithids. The tyrannical enslavement of all other living creatures hardly lends itself to levity. So you know I'm not a mind flare because I have a sense of humor. Was there Good to know. matter you wish to discuss? Uh, I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me in your story, Carsus, I assume. The very same. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral. The end of Carsus and the end of an entire civilization. Damn. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Praise be that Mistra was reborn as Mistra. Quite so. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Interesting. All right. Arlac. What do you make of all this? Feeling illicit? Uh, so about our tadpole really powers. It, huh? Not worried about adding more illicit into the mix? Nope. Well, what can I say? You look fine. Smell fine. Seem fine. Why, thank you. And yet, you're more mind flare than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. Not that bad. I heard romance and Gale feels like when your boyfriend is always saying, this is a nice activity, I used to do this with my ex all the time. You know, I am getting the exact same feeling. And I'm not even trying to romance him. I was hoping you might. The benefits seem to outweigh the costs. I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. Eh, it's fine. Might be facing a facing a cult more powerful than we know. We need all the help we can get. Maybe. Oh, that's a no. You can say whatever you want. You aren't oh, disapproves, damn it. Nothing will. I don't want to get more mixed in with this mind flare shit than I already am. Got it? Alright, fair you enough. Agree with me if that tadpole hadn't eaten the sensible part of your brain. Now, are we done here? Mommy Carlac is angry. Wanna dance? Relationship is neutral. No! I've got a long road ahead. I 
I may have screwed it over. Don't waste a step. All right, let's leave camp. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna scum save. So, save scum. You've indulged. Just helped yourself to a little more power, I see. And there isn't a tentacle to be seen. <laughs> not a bad deal, I'd say. My only complaint is that you didn't want to share. I wouldn't mind indulging myself. I'm sure you wouldn't. I wasn't sure they would want to indulge in this. I admit, I wasn't keen to be the first to try it. Uh, just in case there were any, uh, surprise side effects. <laughs> but now that we know it's safe, I'm all for experimenting. Can't say it like that, man. Like... I might can't. Just to that. Carlac's the only one for me, okay? No matter how many times I gotta keep telling myself that. Ooh, skeleton. Roll of aid, ooh. I should probably be learning a few of these spells. And spell. Can I get rid of this, please, so I can actually see what I'm doing? Oh, here it is. Oh, it is a scroll I can't learn. I can't learn this. Uh, I believe it's this one. Alright. That might be worth a look. Rocky crevice. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Oh, that's too bad. Let's light some lights here. Looks like all those moon plates can be turned. Oh boy. Um I'm going to leave this be for the moment. I do know the solution to this puzzle. But I'm gonna leave it be for the moment. We're going to clear out the goblin camp here. Going to prioritize that. All right, hopefully not everybody is hostile to me. Oh, yeah, spectator. Almost forgot about that guy. That's a lot of dead goblins. I'm assuming because this still shows up in red that... I won't, if I go in front of any goblins over there, that they won't be automatically hostile. Quick save. Assuming. Ooh, potion of healing. We'll find out in a minute. Nope. They're hostile. God damn it. They're all hostile. Damn. Alright. Let's just go ahead and take out the ones over here then. That's fine. I've already taken out one of their main leaders anyways. Over here. Cracker Nick Nuck. You're dead. Another fight. Let's go. Um Go ahead and use firebolts. 
Oh, sweet. Luck of the Fire Realms. Good. Again. I don't know who said that. Tactical. Uh, I don't want to use Misty Step here. I don't have enough movement. We'll just dash. Get in here. Take a flame. Perfect. Come on, flag. Show me what you can do. That was pathetic. Get better, flag. Or die. There we go. Broken loot. Take everything, shall we? I'm just thinking, it's really gonna suck leaving this place if everybody's hostile to me. Let's see. Boss Ragslin is in here, apparently. Got a few people in here. Let me just close this. Thank you. And... Damn it. Trying to avoid that. Keep going. Damn it. All these guys aggroed. I I think I might be able to shoot them through there. Survival is all that matters. Let's do a bone chill. And we'll get over here. Can't afford to let up. Let's do Yeah, we'll go ahead and do Sacred Flame. It's fine. And Karlak can come over here when they open the door. Bionic Backlash. Immediately coming in handy. the hell is he going? Oh, he's going all the way up there? Really? Oh, that's gonna be a pain. Leadership. That's also gonna be a pain, isn't it? Haven't eaten any Mind Flare Worms that's supposed to make the game harder? Really, is it? Oh, I guess I'm making the game a little bit harder then. to disengage. And wrench tech. That won't work. Oh, so much for peace. Um over here. Just wanna stay a paladin, I don't want to be messed up with worms. I mean that's fair. I mean I'm going for uh Necromancer, so it's gonna end up happening. Uh, can I see them? Target's out of sight. Damn it. Alright. Boss Ragnar. Nope, they're out of sight too. Damn it. Alright. No point in using Twin Spell then. Um, actually, let's do Shock and Grasp. Leadership or nearby allies deal an additional 1 to 4 force damage as long as the hobgoblin isn't yeah, incapacitated. Alright. Well, 
Let's see. Let's cast Bless. And... Oh. Okay, good. Uh, we'll do another Psionic Backlash. Damn, that did a lot of damage. How much damage did that do? 15 damage. Damn. That was almost max. So you nullify another creature's spell's reaction. The spell must be third level or lower. If it is higher, you must succeed a check to nullify it. All right, well. Searing Smite. Reckless Attack, please. Thank you. Now oh, he's gonna rage. I should have raged, was I thinking? Damn! I feel like this is a very bad spot to be in. Um, let's see. Sasha Sidious Laughter. Yep. <laughs> Jump out of the grease. <laughs> he really enjoyed that joke. Alright, I need to kill this guy right here. Let's up this to level two. Do two of those. And then we'll do two more over here. That should kill him there. And yeah, 59. Uh, let me fly somewhere else. Like right over here. Uh, Karlak, you've got 41 HP. I don't like that. Oh, command halt. I do cast that. Oh, he's out of range. Okay. There we go. Then we'll upcast healing word here. There we go. So, disadvantage on wisdom saving throws, can't take reactions, loses dexterity bonus to their armor class. Alright, we're gonna rage real quick. Bolt of Light. Come over here so we don't accidentally trigger the breeze. I couldn't use reactions. All right, I'll take it. All right. Can't have disadvantage. Oh, because I'm so close. There we go. All right, how much HP you got? 46. Hmm. What do I got in my pouch? I could do a lightning bolt. That hit both of them? That would hit both of them. That works. Shut them up a bit. Come over here. 
I want to get behind him and then cast Gust of Wind, knock him out. Ready. And do another command. Let's see if he'll do all again. Nope, okay. Rich weapon. Ready for another round. Do a bolt of light. I'll take the blinded. And we'll do reckless attack. At twenty three. down to two hit points. Alright, sneak attack. Again. Really? That missed? No choice but to keep going. Well, I was hoping to get behind him, but let's just do level two magic missile. Let's see if Four damage. All I need to do. Four damage. Uh, let's just do Sacred Flame. That's 36. Alright, Guiding Bolt it is. Alright. Let's run over here. Uh, let's heal real quick. Okay, this guy hasn't even joined the fight. Okay, now this guy's coming down. I don't know why he's waiting to come down. Maybe he didn't have a good shot on him. He's going back up? Yeah, he just had a horrible shot. Path is interrupted, really. If I do firebolt, path is interrupted. Do a cunning action dash. Get on this rope ladder here. There we go. Killed him. On my feet. Um, let's go ahead and dash. To concentrate. I'm on my way. Get a little closer. I don't think I have enough movement to jump. Let's see, there's this guy. This guy's over here. This guy over here. That's not too bad. Close ranks. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, not enough movement. Let's do a ranged attack. This thing is just... Not going anywhere. Uh, let's do cunning action hide. And we'll do... mean disadvantage. I don't have disadvantage. There we go. Sharp Eye Rue. 13 damage. Could have done better. Do better, Asterion. Do better. I don't have any more lightning charges. That's disappointing. I should be able to do Twin Spell, Bone Chill, 85%, sounds good to me. Target's out of sight. I just had it in sight, though. Alright, we'll just do these two. Alright, 
Alright, hopefully I don't slip. As I say it. As I say it. God damn it. That's backlash. That psionic backlash is really useful. Alright. Block bolts. Going down. Uh, do I have enough movement to even get to you? I don't. Alright. <coughs> Cutting action hide. Then let's see. Yeah, hit him where I'm at. All right, let's kill this one out. Thank you. Alright, let's... We got 17 and 2. We'll just use Magic Missile. There we go. Turn. Jump. Thank you. Where, Huck? Where are you going? Where are you going, Huck? Oh, you're going after Asterion, aren't you? God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. You just kicked him right off. Alright. I was not expecting that, but hey. Uh, Bolt of Light. Bolt of Light. Damn it. Uh, you can't do anything. Oh, there's another one over here. That would have been good to know. Alright, let's help up Starion. And Potion of Greater Healing. Thank you. Don't waste a step. Uh, can I hit him? Oh, I don't have enough actions. Alright, let's get in here. Alright, and turn. Damn it, Carlac! You're supposed to be useful when going up there. How could you? You betrayed me. Trade my heart. Oh god, they're all going up there. Uh, let's do dash. Keep them guessing. Let's. I know I have. There we go. Alright, Carlax bat up, back up. Can't even catch my breath. Have to keep going. Can I Oh I can. I'm not gonna kill him though. I'd really want him to kill it. Let's do this. There we go. Witch bolt. Alright. And turn. On I go. Alright, one turn there. He has to come down. But you stop doing that. Alright, 
That didn't do anything. Let's help you up. Again. Because apparently that's what we do now. We just help Karlak up. Alright, disengage. Alright, end turn. And which bolts? Uh, let's do healing potion. Alright, end turn. Let's do... Stick and flame. There we go. Ah, damn it. Alright, this guy's useless. I'm just dismissing him. And let's just kill him. Alright, Witch Bolts. Almost dead. What should I do? You should cast Healing Word. Carlac, please. Just take all. This is gonna feel good. Uh down a crash flash. There we go. Oh boy. That was a bit too much. Scroll of Speak with Dead. Let's take that. You got. Alright, let's loot Boss Ragslin. There's an illithid parasite in that corpse. You should take Faith a look. Breaker. Uh, wield it with both hands. Can't really say anything else. All right, let's take all. All the weak. Let's see. Stage fright. Your targets have disadvantage on attack rolls and take two to twelve da psychic damage each time they miss. Ability drain, charm, horse tunnel. Let's see. Repulsor is the ability he had. I don't know how far I'll get without eating our worms. You should be able to go the entire game without eating them. Alright, let's grab Charm. Agron. Got anything good? You got spy pack. I'll take that. A cage key. I'm sure there's some kind of benefit at the end if you don't actually do it. There's gotta be. Just foregoing really powerful abilities. There's, there's got to be something. Hey, treasure chests. Amulet of Saloons chosen. And more infernal iron. Great. Gloves of the growling underdog. Underdog. Wearer gains advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes. That's actually really good. Spring step boots. When the wearer dashes or take a similar action during combat, they gain momentum. And 500 gold. Alright, let's take all. Can use it. It's me. Yes, he can. Alright. I think I'm going to call that day. Let's do a new save. Guild. Ragslin. Ragslin? Ragslin. And gut. 
Must save Housen. Then let's save Housen. Alright, it's not letting me type anymore. Alright, yeah, I do think that's gonna be it for today. Oh boy. <laughs> but uh yeah. What's it what's today? Today's Friday, right? Yes, yes, today is Friday. So tomorrow and Sunday will be some X4 Foundation, so we'll be getting back to this on Wednesday. Uh, and then on Wednesday we'll go ahead and finally rescue Halson, kill Minthara. Sorry, Drow Priestess Lady. Drow Paladin Lady. I don't think we've actually been introduced to Minthara yet, but that is her name if you don't know that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as tomorrow goes, uh, probably going to be focusing mostly on getting my new station set up in X4. Uh, we did lose Kiki at the end of Sunday's stream, so we got rebuilt Kiki. But that's already been put into the shipyard, so it's literally just waiting for the resources and waiting for it to build. Uh, but aside from that, I think that's going to be it. So uh, you guys have a wonderful day. <laughs> oh, God. Poor Kiki. Poor Kiki. Yeah, that, that should be it for today. So I wish you guys a wonderful day. And I hope I'll see you tomorrow. So, goodbye. Farewell.